as same as every boxing dosage you're back with another video in this video i like to give you my prediction for next next month's upcoming fight it's going down early february it's the third of february it's adam azim versus uh eric paulson and uh it's a good fight man like i said this is going to be a fight that's interesting because you know adam azim faced the last opponent he faced was Franck Petitjean. Petitjean wasn't able to see the final bell and the interesting thing about it is Eric Paulson faced uh, Franck Petitjean as well and um, the interesting thing about it is obviously Eric Paulson they both won the fight Adam Azim and Eric Paulson um, but what it was is Adam Azim's performance was much more dominant and it was a beautiful display and the thing about it what I liked is um, I think he's making changes in terms of improving every single fight you know and I feel that the experience he took against Aaron Fanyan and uh, De Los Santos when he went the distance with them he's becoming a better fighter and he's evolving a bit more what I seen in his last fight against Franck Petitjean, he wasn't rushing for the knockout. I stressed in that prediction video that he needs to switch up his attacks and use different sort of variation combinations, and he did that. He did exactly that, and that was the that was the thing I wanted to see because generally sometimes speed kills of Adam Azim. Don't get me don't get me wrong. You know he's a very talented fighter, man. You know, and that speed is definitely going to kill a lot of people in the game. Do you know what I mean? So, credit to him about his speed. But what it was is, he used to throw the 1-2 quite, quite a lot. And sometimes they would pick up on that, his opponents. You get what I'm saying? But in this fight, he varied it up. Used the um, uppercut. Used body shots. Left and right hooks. He, you know, varied up his attack so that his opponent didn't know where his punches were coming and the good thing about Adam Azim like I said he's got that speed so he'll catch his opponents off guard but you know in the round five in in his last fight against Franck Petitjean he dropped down Franck Petitjean with a beautiful body shot beautiful body shot and he disguised it so well and uh, Franck Petitjean didn't see that coming you know what I mean um, his opponent Eric Paulson in this fight uh, Paulson a really good sort of decent fighter good good fundamentals you know in and out of range as well good footwork I've, I've seen of his fights you know um, and uh, definitely gonna give some questions to answer from Adam Azim but I think Adam Azim is very talented and he's more talented than Eric Paulson Paulson definitely a counter puncher he likes to throw after you've thrown your punches and counter his opponents I think the speed of Adam Azim is going to be a problem in this fight because he's never fought someone like Azim, you know, and I think he's going to get the timing. It's going to get difficult to try to dictate the timing of uh, Adam Azim, you know, to catch him when he comes in. You know, that's that's going to be his problem in my opinion because I just feel Adam Azim is a bit faster than him. And I think Adam Azim is maturing as a fighter. He's not going in there looking for the knockout or like he used to. You know, because uh, you're not gonna get everyone out of there just as quick. You gotta break them out, that break them down systematically, and uh, I think that's what he's gonna do in this fight. You get what I'm saying? I think Eric Paulson has got a good chance as well, but you know, I think speed kills, man, and I think Adam Azim is gonna be a bit too sharp for him. Um, obviously, like I said, they they both face Franck Petitjean, but what I can take sometimes you can't take a lot from them fights because. The thing is, styles make fights, you know, and, uh, you know, Azim, you know, generally, sometimes what happens in boxing, the same people face the same people, and sometimes, you know, that analogy of, you know, how they won the fight, it doesn't play out all the time, you know what I mean? Sometimes it does, don't get it twisted, but, you know, I feel that, you know, Adam Azim's got this fight, you know, he's, he's going to win this fight, in my opinion. It's just a matter of how he does it, you get what I mean? Um, and I think he can build on that momentum he brought in his last fight because I think he's going to have to be the aggressor in this fight. From, uh, Eric Paulson, he's going to 
he's gonna be on the back foot and he's gonna have to walk uh, Paulson down but he's gonna do it have to do it smart break him down you know cuz uh, if he just goes looking for it he's gonna rush in and catch some shots he doesn't want to you know what I mean he doesn't see coming as well so you know what I'm saying like I said I like the performance in his last fight against Franck Petitjean you know uh, varied up his attack and his punches and I was really impressed with that you get what I'm saying so um, yeah man this fight he's got to be switched on you can't underestimate uh, Eric Paulson you know what I mean Paulson is definitely an undefeated fighter so you know what I mean like you can't take no one for granted because anything can happen sometimes but for my final prediction I'm going to go with Adam Azim to win this fight and I'm going to say a mid to late round knockout you know what I mean uh, he could win this fight on points as well so don't get ruled that out as well you know what I mean but I just feel that uh, Adam Azim's power his variations of combinations you know it's going to be too much speed kills and I think he's just a faster fighter in this fight against Paulson but yeah as for my final prediction I've got Adam Azim winning this fight outright you know whether it's a late stoppage or a points decision I feel like Adam Azim can win this fight how he wants to so I'm going to go with Adam Azim by uh, late stoppage maybe you know what I mean uh, let me know your thoughts on this matchup guys I've got Adam Azim winning this fight uh, look out for it February the 3rd and uh, I'll see you on the next one, guys.